Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 98 of Football Manager 19. Closing in on the century mark. Uh, don't think we'll get there. I think we're going to have one more episode. And 95% sure we're going to call that a season and a career and a save and start something new. Pretty sure. Uh, we've been in a pretty good run a form since December. Uh, just a handful of losses, one of those coming in the FA Cup to Liverpool. Uh, so since the last ma uh, episode with Liverpool and Bournemouth, uh, we did unfortunately lose back-to-back -back games. Uh, lost to Brighton. Franaschini scored on a penalty. Danielle was sent off in the 87th minute. Uh, they scored <laughs> Uh, in the 45th minute and then in stoppage time on a Harry Wilson penalty. Uh, ugly result. Arsenal was uh, top of the table. They beat us 2-0. Will Clark and Sergio Guerra Guerra. Uh, then we beat Bristol City 1-0. Tommaso Franaschini. And then 4-1. Uh, probably the biggest goal glut we've had, uh, well, since Bolton. Uh, Claren Malone with a hat trick. And Aguilera with a late goal put icing on the cake. So we're back for Tottenham and Crystal Palace today. I think we'll come back for Bolton and West Ham to close out the season. So taking a look at the competition, we've got a little bit of catching up to do. Uh, so let's see, Arsenal has already qualified for Europa. Uh, they're sitting on 53 points. Must have something to do with last season, right? Didn't they beat us in the final or something like that? Uh, so they're already qualified for Europa, which actually may help us because if they get into the top four, which they probably won't, then that may open up seventh position for Europa. So anyway, we're currently sitting six. We're three up on Leicester. Uh, 16 wins, 10 losses. So much better than last year where we had more losses than wins. Uh, season's not over yet, so don't get too excited. Uh, and we've shown that we can certainly lose to clubs that we should beat. Uh, but we're sitting 51 points, a plus 10 goal differential. Uh, I would like to see some more draws instead of losses, but I'd rather I'm going to the win column if, if that's what I've got to choose. So we've eked our way up into the top six. Uh, let's see. What else is going on? Oh, transfer window has ended. So let's take a look here. Deadline deals. Yeah, we loaned out Gallagher. Courtney went to Minnesota for 2.6. We already knew about that. Um, oh, that's right. We need to come back here. Uh, Riccio, we decided to loan him out. Uh, he, he, you know, originally he was going to be a starter for us and then ended up farther down the depth chart. Uh, Gonzalez Martinez, uh, he was on a youth uh, work permit, so we loaned him out. Roy Hofton, I was really excited when we signed him, 22-year-old uh, Norwegian uh, winger. Uh, he was going to challenge Danny Olmo. And then just, you know, ended up down the depth chart. Uh, he played, we paid 2.7 for him from Leeds. Uh, he played uh, two starts, three three sub appearances that first year. And then five starts, one sub last year. And hadn't made an appearance for us this year. So we went ahead and moved him for 3.3 million, made a little bit of a profit on him. Uh, let him jumpstart his career. Courtney finished his deal finally, and Colin Gallagher we loaned out. I did make one. Uh, we made two moves uh, at the deadline. Paul Hecker was the one, the guy I told you last episode that we were looking at. We paid twenty-three and a half million for him. He's a left back. Uh, he started five matches for us already, playing a seven rating. Uh, very good physicals. <laughs> Still only three potentials, so he's not a great upgrade, but he is English, which helped us balance out that homegrown requirement. Uh, pretty good mentals as well. 
although some of it's dropping off pretty harshly. Uh, we need to get him uh, in the moving in a better direction. And he's solid on defense. So uh, crossing, dribbling, a little lacking. But, you know, that's our guy right now. And then uh, this is the guy that my scouts, I was looking to make. Uh, I knew Courtney was gone, hot, um, and Recio was a roster spot. So I ended up having a roster spot to fill. And I could have just went with a 24-man roster. And it's really closer to 32 because I've got all the U23s that don't have to be registered. Uh, but this guy popped up, and I said, oh, a chance to solidify my center back. Plus, he can play reserve, defensive mid, left and right back. Uh, so, you know, I was able to sign him. He jumps into the starting lineup. Uh, Four-star current, four-star potential. Great physicals. Everything except for bravery. He is 6'1". He's got strength. Uh, good jumping reach. Decent, you know, decent heading. And uh, so was really happy to get him. He's got some pace acceleration. Uh, Wolves signed him for $41 million from Newcastle, uh, who originally acquired him from Salford for $5.75. So they made it, they cleaned up. And then we got him for $33.5 million, uh, which was his minimum cost uh, to buy out. So we went ahead and uh, made that deal. And he has jumped in and made several starts for us, or he started for us four matches playing a 6.88. And that's given us a little more flexibility. So uh, final tally, we sold 227 million and we spent 217. So we made a net profit of $10 million, excuse me, on the year. We're sitting at 88 million after the expenditures because we did drop 50 million right there at the end. Uh, we did, you know, we've lost 33 million, but that's due to our spending. And we actually, uh, last month, we made, you know, it was like 203 million out and 213 in. So we made about $10 million uh, for the month. And I think we'll be all right. Uh, and again, we are selling out at 38,000, boom, boom, boom. Uh, so, you know, we had fans step up and snatch the tickets as soon as they went on the market when we, you know, after we finished the expansion. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, let's take a look because I have not looked at this yet. Uh, our youth candidates came in. So some pretty decent potential. 15-year-old uh, midfielder and winger, five-star potential, allegedly. He's, he's very fast, off the ball, work rate determination. So, you know, he needs some work. He's only one star currently, but 15 years old, I think that's a good starting point. Four-and-a-half star potential for a goalkeeper. Uh, we're definitely going to need to work on his one-on-ones. Uh, first touch, yeah. He, you know, 15 years old. He needs he needs a lot of work. He'll need a lot of time. But you know, you can see we've got some some potential in here. 16 year old Keith McKee, uh, four star potential, pace, acceleration. Uh, he is a left winger. He's already not bad. I mean, you know, not premier level, but. You know, we had guys like this when we were in the championship, you know, League Two with Barnett, right? Technique. So, you know, he's got some ability. I, you know, I see some good things in here. Luke Chapman, uh, center back, mid center. Not the paciest, you know. So, he, you know, we definitely start seeing a drop off there. Yeah, and, and he's, he's actually not bad for being 15 years old either. So, you know, we got a handful of good guys in, uh, in our youth intake, it looks like. So today, of course, we're playing uh, Tottenham, who are top of the league, and then we'll play Crystal Palace, who are 13th. So let's jump into it. Now, we are heavy underdogs here. They're one to three favorites. Uh... Anchor, defend. I think we're going to go with this tactic here. So Flores has started slotting in at the 
right back and Tuati has moved up into the right wing so I may start training him up there let's see wide mid attack nope right here wide mid attack there we go get him training in that position right uh, Aguilera Volante attack yeah so he's still training there that's good he's training at a 755 so he should be all right let me just make sure we're good there Franashini March uh, just if you're curious six starts two assist two uh, sub appearances one goal one assist one player of the match that was his debut I believe wasn't it all right well let's get to it so we are underdogs here let me move this around a little bit there we go all right hopefully the sound was not affected too bad uh let's uh let's give him some faith let's give him some george michael was not a george michael or a wham fan If you are a music fan, you might check out the other ser one of the other series I've got going on uh, called Music Wars Empire. Uh, they uh, it's a, a music simulator where you run a record company and sign bands and release albums and what have you. Oh, he should have put that one in the net, but we're glad he did not. Uh, Praise. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo, they are pepper in the net. Um, tighter marking, no offsides trap. All right, we're good. There we go. Quit double clicking the keyboard. All right, Mecca. Set piece. Whew. All right, he lumps it out. Way out. Oh, look at the touch by Kieran and Tierney. Oh, my God, I knew a player's name. How many years in the making has that been? Jump on it. Oh, beautiful through ball, Mecca. Oh, he tried to sneak it past the keeper. Douglas makes the save. Oh, they are just peppering us. Six to one on shots. Push forward. Frustrated. Sabalos. Cleared out. That's something relatively new, and I, I don't remember that at the beginning of FM19. So they may have it may have been in one of the patch updates where when the ball is on that back line, the uh, defender clears it out instead of trying to control it and then play it you know play it out of the back. Um, all right, they're frustrated. Nine to two. All things considered, we're not favored. I think we're we're withholding, withstanding the charge. So I'm going to say we're doing okay. All right. I mean, everybody's playing relatively wellish, right? Kickoff highlight. Oh, up to Tuati. Flores on the run. Okay. Franashini heads it into the box. Oh. Nice. Nice. Oh, what a through ball. Yes, Pat March. Get in there, son.
Get in there, son. Nice ball movement. Um, Tuati, mid right. Mid left. Mid center. I'm going to drop him back. And let's bring in Malone. He had that hat trick. And that gets Franischini off on a winger position. I don't know how he'll play out there. And Aguilera. Mid center. Who do I want? Do I want Harris or Danielle? Passing is a 14. Probably Danielle. All right. Tierney into the box. No, 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 no. No! Oh, that's such bullshit nobody would ever commit a penalty like that on a throw into the edge of the box fuck you god damn i hate deli alley he's got a funny haircut <laughs> that's bullshit that was bullshit push forward Yeah, I mean, you know, let's just give him another penalty, maybe. What do you think? What the fuck? We got 80 guys over there on the ball, and they don't clear it out. They just pussyfoot, and yeah, yeah, okay. Look at that. One, two, three, and nobody marketing. Hey, you. What's going on, George? Yeah, I'm upset, George. Not at you, though. Freaking West Brom sucks. <laughs> My players suck. Tottenham sucks. Look at this crap. That's our new $35 million signing. Can, hello, can I not? No, not really. Oh, what the hell is that? She, uh... Oh, okay. So you can actually... Okay, I didn't know what those were for. <laughs> Color me, stupid. Oh, my God. Just get the ball freaking out. You think? Flores. Hello, thank you, God. Get it out. There was some woodwork there. Oh, are we gonna... Whew, look how close. Virtual assistant referee. All right. Um, Paul Hecker. Defensive left. Can I move? You know what? I'm going to move Nichols over there. And I am going to bring in Giannone to the back line. Boy, Flores is crap, too. Uh, yeah. Oof. Push forward. Get attacking. We're already on no time wasting. Five minutes. 17 to 3 on shots. Ugh. Oh. He kicked it right to Jimmy Smits. Or Rick Smits. No, he's not tall enough. And he oh, he just punted it out of bounds. Not happy. We should have drawn, well, you know. We got dominated statistically, but I think we should have. We should have drawn that match. We should have pulled a point. 
Um, no, no. Um, eh, good effort. All right. All right. I'll kiss their ass because that's what they want. Shit. We were fined six yellow cards. Ooh -hoo. At least nobody got sent off. How many, how many matches? 11 hours. Hello. All right. We'll be right back for Crystal Palace. George has joined us as a spectator for the next match. Crystal Palace, uh, possibly because he got his own palace this past week. I got a little, uh, I don't know, four, four and a half foot tall cat tree and they like it. But honestly, I think he's hungry because it's probably dinner time. But hopefully we can beat Crystal Palace and then... Uh, I can go eat too. I'm batching it for a, for a week. Uh, my wife uh, has gone uh, out of state to uh, visit her sister. And then uh, my daughter's having a uh, baby shower there this weekend. So she'll be going there this weekend. Yeah. So, um, Harris. I do like Harris. Harris can play a lot of positions and he's pretty darn good. He's played a lot. Well, you know, he played 33 matches last year. He did score seven goals, uh, which was very nice. We got him on a free from Chelsea. Uh, let's discuss the issue. Um... Thank God. There's nothing really that says, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give you some starts. I didn't see that option. <laughs> All right. I have probably made a lot, too many, I've made too many signings this year, and I, I, I acknowledge that. Um, I did admit at the beginning of the season, one of my weaknesses in the game is what it is. All right, we are at home. We're favorites. So we're going to go with that tactic. All right, I do want to... See, he, he's not even getting into the bench. Wow. Um, see, Ban Banagim was supposed to be a starting... Defensive, or he was supposed to be in rotation for defensive mid. I had promised Anthony McDonald some time off the bench. Attacking mid right. Yeah, I think I'm going to put... Uh, Why? There he is. Yeah. We're going to put him on the bench. I don't really need a mid left with Lloyd. So I could put Morgan Harris there. And yeah, we, we really upgraded our defensive back four. So, you know, I can I can see that's causing Harris some issues. Uh, Tuwadi, let's see if any of these guys need a. If they're a health risk, not really. Sainsbury only because he starts for the U23s, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Harris. Chikwuma got injured. Walter's out. Baliku is back from, he's back in training. Uh, Giannone, I mean, Giannone, 16 starts. Defensive mid, mid center. Defensive right center, mid center, mid center. 
So I really don't need him. I could put Giannone back there. And just to make sure, below average. Hecker is very high. If we rest him, I could, oh, you know what? I could put El Amrani over there. And then I could put Giannone in for Hecker. I think that works. Gets me a couple of guys in there. Uh, Franischini up top. Malone. All right, let's get to it. If it is the last season, which again, I'm I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm feeling it. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, then I, you know, I really don't need to spend a lot of time trying to keep these guys happy, right? Oh, nice follow-up by Aguilera. He's much better when he shoots from the six rather than the 18. <laughs> Oh, it was so funny. Uh, my daughter, uh, so she's she's expecting uh, in September my first grandbaby. I've mentioned that a few times. Uh, Danielle into the box, second goal of the season. Um, liking it. Uh, she came downstairs yesterday, and uh, she was wearing one of my old shirts that I had given her years ago, and it's way too big. But now that she's pregnant. You know, the bigger shirts are more comfortable for her. Uh, it was my old uh, FIFA officials jersey. Uh, so that was uh, pretty funny. I hadn't seen that shirt in years. It was the uh, one of the old uh, yellow and black Bumblebee jerseys. Uh, so that was uh, good memories. Good memories. Long time ago. I couldn't run like that if my life depended on it now. <laughs> all right five shots three on target two chances and two goals excellent efforts Danny Olmo avoid a yellow please yeah I think I, I mean I can't say I hurt the team because I mean, you know, we're sixth position. We're playing well. But, right? Uh, Vandersteen. Shit. First goal of the season. Of course it was. Uh, Jake Robinson attacking mid left. Let's put McDonald off the bench. Franischini. Let's put let's give Malone some game time. We'll skip that because that was disappointing. You wanna get your paw out of my shirt there, George? Thank you. <laughs> Say hi. You're off camera because you're too low. Vandersteen, another set piece. Oh my God! That's been the bane this this the last couple of seasons is set pieces. It's like they're getting clean breaks. Nobody's marking on a set piece. Show some passion. I can bring... Let me see if McDonald can do a little better at the 10. Omo Amrani. Paul Hecker. Yeah, we'll bring Paul in. Uh, if we let this get away, I'm going to be so pissed off. Uh, it's too late to change tactics or anything. Come on, panicking, panicking. All 
All right, there's a the ball out to Hecker. Aguilera. Oh, Aguilera puts it in. A brace for him. Number seven. Whew. Man, we may have pulled this one out of the proverbial frying pan. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We let that one get away. It should not have been. Yeah, we'll go with the Jekyll and the Hyde. We'll uh, we'll go that route. I can uh, I can see that. All right, let's finish the day out. And we'll check our mail. Come on, finish the day. All right, so Man United coming up. All right, we steal a win. Well, actually, we should have never been in a close match. Two set-piece goals. Oh, my God. I'm certainly going to praise his performance. Thank you very much. All right. So we're still sitting six, still three points up on Leicester. They do have one in hand. God, Arsenal's got four in hand? Holy shit. So, yeah, we're not even close to catching those guys. We're six points off Man United. I mean, we're playing for that six, seven, eight spot. And, and you know, that's going to keep us above mid-table. The, uh, the board has us at untouchable, 97 in the Premier League. But I believe overall we were on 89, so untouchable. Uh, satisfied, irrelevant, pleased, satisfied with tactics. That's what I'm getting most of this shit on is tactics because we're losing matches here and there. Um, all right, well, we're going to play it out to the end. We'll be back for Bolton and West Ham. We'll play Bolton on my birthday, uh, real life. Uh, so, uh, hey. Pound that like button. Subscribe if you don't mind. We will see you guys for the season finale and probably the save finale. And uh, I am going to start working on the uh, new save that I'm planning, uh, that I'm thinking about. Uh, so I actually just need to find the time to get in and look at it. Uh, but anyway, we'll see you guys for the next episode. Take care. Bye.